Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. So happy to see you. So glad that you're here. So last morning in Zimbabwe, we're going to meet the MCC team to debrief with them and then we're getting on a plane to go to South Africa for a day before we head to Malawi. We're spending our last morning together on a hike. In a minute, I'm going to get really out of breath and I might slip and fall and hurt myself. You also might run into snakes. <laughs> I was just going to well, say yeah, that. Basically, Black all mamas. of the most dangerous snakes in the world live in Zimbabwe. Is Set the python. There's Chris. Okay, There's the mountain! Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. How are we getting down? We'll figure that out in a minute. Cool. Here we are. We're leaving the lodge in Zimbabwe, getting ready to go to the airport for South Africa. We've just arrived in South Africa for the second time. <laughs> We're on a little bus. 2.0. Hello! <laughs> We're back with Fraz in South Africa! <laughs> We are visiting an urban youth center in Clip Town um, and having dinner with some of the ladies and the community people in Soweto. It's Friday night in Soweto, so it's going to be loud. <laughs> I'm excited! So, we've just come out of Clip Town, which is one of the 50 townships in Soweto. What are some of the things that you remember? It's a township that is full of juxtaposition. You see incredible things such as uh, youth centers that are working to help kids stay educated, um, entertained, and learning. Um, but you also, to get there, walk over top of open sewage, past public washrooms that have padlocks on them because kids play everywhere outside all day. About 50 families can be serviced by one water tap. So those are throughout the community. Mm -hmm. And um, they were also talking about electricity not being provided regularly. Always a big issue in a lot of these Southern African countries we've seen. So far in Soweto, I just feel like there has been an overwhelming sense of peace. There have been children running around and I really want you to know that there is a sense of peace <laughs> and welcomeness here. So it's definitely been an experience for us to see what life looks like here in Soweto. Colette, thanks so much for being with us. Can you just tell us one thing that you would like us to take away from this experience today? Despite of the contrast that you saw in Soweto, as we now in a different part of Soweto, but we still are a unity. See, we believe in the spirit of Ubuntu. So much she get out of the piece. Yeah. Oh, singing oh, and learning a traditional dance. Oh, I don't know if you can see anyone behind me, but it's really cool. And then we we're actually invited to go to a local family's home in Soweto uh, for dinner and just to hang out and to ask questions about South Africa and about what their dreams are and their hopes are for the future. So that was a really, really cool experience. They taught us some of the language and gave us names in their language, which was pretty special. And then we ended just with uh, them teaching us a song and a dance. Uh, so that was a very cool experience and uh, we're just enjoying being back here for the night and then heading to Malawi first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll uh, keep you posted. Thanks for hanging out. Good night.